Hello YouTube, this is the Game Mage with Order of Tear, and I am playing Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I don't know why I'm playing this exactly, other than I just found it in a box in the back of a closet, so uh, I figured that's a good time to, to give it a shot. Um, of course, I love this game, as most people do. It's a, I think it's a great game, and um, yeah, I mean, not much to say other than... Hey, it's Super Mario Brothers 3, so we're gonna jump right in here. Um, you know, as most people have, like, really, 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 uh, vivid memories of playing this, um, when I was younger. Yeah, I mean, getting it, and it being so different than, certainly Super Mario Brothers 1, but, uh, even 2, uh, you know, the United States 2, where... Two is just like so vastly different than one or three here, um, but this one's really cool because it's you know it's got a really or it's got a unique style about it. How everything looks like it's you know either screwed into the background or you know things stacked on top of each other. And I guess recently, I guess Shigeru Miyamoto or, or somebody confirmed that canonically. Oh man, I just lost my tail. That sucks. Um, confirmed that canonically, this, uh, this game, Super Mario 3, is a stage play. It was, it, it, it happened, but it happened as a stage play, so that's why everything, you know, looks like, you know, it's just like props in the background. Man, I thought I was about to die here on the first stage, I was gonna get a little upset. Whoa! Yeah, it's, a. Uh, it, it's always one of those things where playing a game while talking about it is a completely different uh, experience and requires a different level of skill than just playing it without having to think about what you're saying, speak, and, you know, go through the mechanics of actually playing the game. So, uh, if some of the sound's a little weird here as far as, like, you know, like the sound effects and whatnot, the reason for that is that I'm not playing it on an original NES. Uh, my brother actually has, or had lent uh, our original NES to a friend, uh, and I'm pl actually playing this on an FC Twin. So it's you know one of those dual consoles that plays NES and Super Nintendo games. Um, so I find that like the sound on that it's pretty different sometimes depending on what kind of effects you know are being used. But uh, that's why. Uh, and you also see some uh, graphical glitches, I think, that you wouldn't necess necessarily see with the uh, regular NES or the you know a real NES. Um, but yeah, I mean it's cool. It's it, uh, as far as the FC Twin, it, you know, it's cool to be able to play both uh, systems games in one console. But again, you do lose some quality there, and like the controller is not as good, so you know, stuff like that. But um, if you just absolutely can't get your hands on a NES or SNES, and so it's a pretty decent alternative. So uh, what I'm trying to decide here is if I just want to try to see how far I can get, uh, or if I just want to do like a complete run. I think I'm just going to go and see how far I can get because um, uh, normally, you know, it's it's pretty easy, you, you know, to get to uh, World Eight, um, but from there it's like uh, it's just pretty difficult. And it sucks and match there. But, uh, it's pretty difficult, you know, you get the flutes and, uh, warp all the way down to eight, and then the first, you know, two, three stages aren't terrible, uh, in World 8, but then after you get past the sort of bridge thing where the, where you get grabbed into, oh man, that was not good. After you get grabbed into, um, those, or, you know, randomly into the multiple levels across that bridge, uh, then it just gets, like, really hard when the, like, the world actually starts. I just realized I'm not going to get the flute now, so I think I'm going to uh, reset real quick and uh, do that because I want to get to World 8. So, uh, yeah, this is um, this is kind of an informal playthrough, I guess. Um, I'm not you know, doing, going for a speed run or anything. <laughs> oh goodness, that would be terrible, me trying to do a speed run while talking. I mean, it would be terrible in general, me just trying to do a speed run, but trying to do it while talking would be pretty impossible. Like that sound there when you get the mushroom, that's like, sounds like really glitchy. It's like not how it's supposed to sound. I keep forgetting that this is one where you can pick up turtle shells. So I keep holding the run button and I'm like, oh, what? are you serious?
if you watch any of me playing Mario Maker, uh, yeah, you understand me just hitting reset here. It's uh, a matter of patience on my side, but it's just how it goes, I guess. I know, uh, I didn't intend to be playing World 1 1 three times, so apologies for that, but, uh,. Hey, it happens. Again, though, I actually haven't played, I mean, not that this is an excuse, because this is an easy level, but I haven't played Super Mario Bros. 3 in, good grief, I don't know how many years. Probably close to a decade. And this controller, oh man, this controller's pretty terrible, actually. Oh man, I, shoot. Oh, of course they're coming back this way. Yeah, I'm gonna blame it on the controller. <laughs> because I can. I really do wonder, I mean, it's got like the same kind of port as a Super Nintendo controller. What if you could use like a, a normal Super Nintendo controller in this? I mean, yeah, it's still a little weird for playing Super Mario Bros. 3, but I mean, it would be better than this. This controller looks like a Super Nintendo controller, but it's, the buttons are a lot stiffer and like not in a good way. It's like, you have to press really hard on them. Alright, so, let's make it through here without losing our tail, that would be great. There we go. Oh man, screw it, I'm not going to get it. Yeah, the more I think about this, with this controller, the more I am dreading World 8, because I don't think that that's going to go very well, like at all. I mean, you saw how the first fortress was. That's uh, a little terrible, actually. Let's just do it. Let's do it. We got this. Oh man, we almost didn't have that. Oh, I didn't make it. Alright, so let me get the flute up here. Alright, now if I can remember the other thing you're supposed to do, there's a flute in here. No, it's three! Oh crap. <laughs> well, we'll play this level, it'll be fine. I mean, yeah, the music in this game is pretty wonderful. Um, I mean, most Mario games have excellent music. That's kind of just like their thing. But, oh, whoa. But it was interesting how, like, this one, it was, like, even more, like, uh, intricate, I guess is the way to put it. Although, Super Mario 2 is pretty intricate, too, so I can't really say that it was lackluster in any way. I mean, compare either of those to Super Mario Brothers, and, you know, they're both obviously, you know, huge advances. Oh, man. Ugh. I hate auto-scroll levels, especially ones where it's like, you're just like floating over stuff. That's just not fun. Alright. Why would anybody want to deal with that boomerang dude? I mean, are those, those aren't Hammer Brothers, because, like, you know, obviously those are later, but I, I don't know what the official name for the Boomerang enemies are. Boomerang Brothers? Let's go to Toad's house here. Yeah, um, whatever. Give me a leaf. Uh, that's not a leaf. Okay, whatever. So, I mean, you know, oh jeez, dude, really? Yeah, uh, most people learn this secret in The Wizard, the movie The Wizard, but it's like, what's funny is like, uh, 
uh, if I recall correctly, the premise of that game was that, you know, nobody ever played Super Mario 3 before, and so it was like, as a challenge, playing a new game. But how in the world would he know that? Like, there's like, no way that kid would know that that secret was there. It's just ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so let's do one. I love how they use the uh, Zelda tune there. So let's skip six worlds and go to, right to eight. <laughs> I mean, once you learn you can do this, it's like... Yeah, yeah. Playing the other worlds is like superfluous unless you just want to experience them. Which is, you should, like... I mean, they are really good. They're all well designed, they're fun to play, and, you know... Beating them all is, like, not easy. It's not like, uh, just... A cakewalk or anything. Like, especially, like, you know... Five and six are not at all, and I mean seven's not. Oh crap! Seven's not like some super easy thing either. Um, but yeah, World Eight is like just like a completely different level than all the other games. It's like so, so much more difficult. And this is just my opinion, and again, this is me going on memory pretty much at this point. But uh, I always remember it being the case that World Eight is just like ridiculous. I mean, like look at all this going on on the screen. It's like, uh, you just have to dodge, like, everything. So this is gonna be a mushroom. Oh no! Sweet! I forgot that, yeah, that would be a leaf if I was big. Awesome. See, this one's actually not so bad. I mean, I say that, but this one's not so bad. The real bad ones where it's like... You're, like, all flying out in the air and stuff, and like... Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Crap. Too much stuff on screen slowing down. <laughs> the real bad ones where you're like flying, uh, if you don't have the leaf for that one, it's like a lot, lot harder. Oh no! Oh shoot! And this stuff is just like everywhere. This is brutal, man. Like, forget after not playing it for so long, just how brutal that is. It's pretty bad. Is there anything over here? I've like never even tried to look. Nah, it looks like no. I guess I could have checked a little farther. Alright. Yay, a star. Not that very helpful. Oh, this is the boat one. So there's like this one, and then there's one that's like, you're like, flying in the air too, and that's like, difficult. It's not worth it. Oh, it's a trap. That's such a trap, man. Like you always want to go get it, but that that box over there. But you know you shouldn't, because <laughs> you're you're gonna die. You're just gonna die. That's all there is to it. And like you can like, oh crap, you can swim under the boat for a while. I don't know if you can do the whole level like that. I think you may be able to. I, I, it's been so long since I've tried that kind of stuff, but um, I think you can. Like I mean, at least this whole section I think you can swim under. But this one's not so bad. And it's just, you know, like these guys throwing wrenches. What's well, bad when they're they're up throwing wrenches? Oh man! Please don't let me die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. When they're throwing wrenches and there's stuff shooting at you, just all kinds of stuff going on. It's just it gets really ridiculous. Oh man! No! 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 Oh! I've got to be close to the end here, right? This has got to be like the end. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh no, no, no! Now I've got to do this whole level. Oh man, with nothing. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay. Oh, uh, this is not gonna happen. I might have to call this one, guys. That's just like if you can make it through this level with a. Um, with the raccoon tail, I mean you're you're, you're kind of okay. Oh, oh. oh man, I missed it. I don't know how I didn't die there. Well, it's only inevitable at this point. <laughs> only a matter of time. I'm gonna try to swim under that one this time. I remember I used to do this a lot. 
but I, I don't like I said I don't know if you can get out later I, I don't know if, if, if I'll be able to jump high enough when I can oh man Ugh, this is nerve-wracking I always hated all these levels like I've only beaten this like once or twice because it's like oh, come on Oh, jeez, as soon as I get up there, of course, naturally. But like I said, I've only been in this game like once or twice because, like, these levels are not fun to me, put it that way. Like, I like hard stuff, and I like challenging stuff, but this isn't... I don't know, this is... I don't know how to explain it. It's just not fun for me. Um, like, the levels in the world, like, after you beat all this, like, intro stuff, and then you get past that bridge, and you actually start playing like the levels of the world, like they're fine. Like I, I don't mind playing those. I mean they're they're real hard, but at least they're like fun. These things like this, like I, I don't like, uh, you know, airship type levels at all. I've just always hated them. And I mean just in general, I hate auto scroll levels. Like I was saying earlier, that's just, oh, not fun for me at all. I, and I, I don't know why. It's just not. I like being able to take things at my own pace if I want to go real fast. It's good. I guess that's the thing is like I feel like these slow me down a lot and I, I don't it just by the mere fact of it slowing down makes it more difficult um, and that makes it less fun because the difficulty isn't in you know oh things oh, geez, things you have to deal with on the screen I mean it is but it, it's more like it's more like uh, deal with the screen being stupid versus dealing with what's actually going on in the scene you know what I mean so it's just kind of annoying don't die this time Okay, good. Uh, now, I hope this guy doesn't kill me. Oh, jeez, I was trying to get fancy. Oh, man. That's so messed up. Uh, oh, man. Why'd you let me do that, YouTube? No, for real, though, I was, I was trying to get a little too fancy. I was trying to pull off the, you know, the jumper, like, you jump while he's still... Crap. He's still flashing and, uh... Uh, you hit him like as soon, like right as soon as you can hit him. Uh, like all the stuff speedrunners do. Not that I'm trying to be a speedrunner or anything. Just that I know that that's. I mean, that's something I used to do when I was younger, just because it's like, hey, check this out. Those things aren't really hard at all. Like the harder ones are the ones that fly, but I mean, you can hit them before they start flying, so that's like, eh. But yeah, I like I said. Just this auto scroll stuff, man. It just really bugs the crap out of me. It it that makes it just makes the level unfun for me. That's all I can say about it. So hopefully this time I'll be able to get past this one though. If not, you know, you know it's okay. Oh man, <laughs> and I hastened the end there just by talking about it. All right. Let's give us another try. I'm gonna, I, I gotta get that mushroom. I just gotta be fast and get that mushroom. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. And this is the thing too, is it's like, if this were an auto scroll level again, that mushroom would be like, not that big of a deal. Oh man, I don't know how that happened. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, how did I get out of there without getting hit? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, jeez. Amazing to myself, not like, super awesome or anything. Alright, I don't know why, I felt like I needed to jump over that one. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on! I mean, the music's pretty sweet here, but it's like, the level is not... This... Oh, these three levels, this... This one, the one before it, and then the, the, the flying one, are like, literally my three least favorite levels in this game. I would rather play any other level. Which is funny, because, like, whenever I, you know, play this game, especially, like, when I, oh, jeez, skip to, like, ugh, oh, later in the game. These are the levels I'm always playing, because they're hard, and you gotta beat them to get anywhere. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get that mushroom and not die. Alright. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, man, I almost got hit with that wrench. There's like so much going on in this level, it's crazy. Alright, made it. Oh, man, 
again, I don't know what possesses me to think I need to like try to jump over or hit that cannonball. That's that's just dangerous. Thrill seeking. Wouldn't be prudent. And, I, and these things too, I don't know what their official names are. The little things that come up out of like manholes and throw wrenches. Um, maybe I'll get a little farther? <laughs> Man, if I beat this level, that'd be pretty sweet. At least I would... Oh, that's the same place that I got hit last time. But it would be nice to uh, get a little past this, because... The rest of the game's fun, too. I mean... Nothing fancy. There we go. Just straight up beat him. Man, this is my last life, too. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to get anywhere. I'm, gonna, I'm totally going to get caught on this bridge. Which one, bet? Oh, man. It would be too good if I just don't get caught on any of them. Oh, of course not. I mean, is this supposed to be a bridge? I don't know. I, I always thought it was because like these little levels are like, you know... Bridge pieces. Oh crap. Okay, so nothing's coming up there. Good. Oh, alright. Man. Those are just annoying because it's like, it's just one. Oh, yes! Yes! It's just some place to die, you know? Let's use that now. No, I'm gonna use the flower because I just want to get past these. Um, and then the tail's gonna be really useful in that flying one. Oh, sweet! I made it. Okay, good. Oh, so this this isn't super useful here, the fireballs, but... Yeah, this thing goes so fast, too. I totally forgot this flying one. Oh, man. It's, this level's, like, way easier when you have a tail because you can kind of, like, uh, you know, make your fall a little slower and, and guide it a lot more. But, I'm, man, it's just so fast, everything's just, everything's just, oh, no, no! Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, what? Oh, uh, oh, man. All right, guys, I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'll probably play some more of this uh, a little bit later, but uh, I do, I do really like this game a lot. Um. And it's a shame because the levels after that one, I've not played that much. Like, like I said, maybe a handful of times uh, ever. And only a couple times have I played it all the way through to the end and beaten it. But um, it's a good game. Difficult game. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, hit the thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see uh, some more videos. We uh, plan on doing some more gameplay videos on here. And... You know, we, we do the uh, the podcast, and uh, we do Order More Tires live hangout every other week. So uh, any of that stuff that interests you, check that out. We appreciate it, uh, and we'll see you guys next time.